I'm gonna try and do a video showing how to modify one of these as a floater um, and we'll see how this video goes I'm not sure but anyway uh, here it goes so um, I've already taken a couple of these case screws out um, last one here uh, so this is going to be easy because I'm trying to do this while I hold the camera, which is stupid, but it is what it is. Okay. So, get that up out of the way. And then this cover just folds off. Folds off. A little pla uh, insulating shield here. This comes up. So anyway, it folds off. You'll see how it hinges here in a second. There's a couple of little bits right there. See those? Those fit in those. And there's three of them along the rail there. So anyway, that just hinges off. Set that aside. Flip the cover up. Turn this around. A easier to work with. Alright, so the next thing to take out, because we're going to basically take all this out, is this screw and then once this screw comes up this power piece right here this power connector just it just lifts up and out of the way so we'll take this out and lift this up and then it exposes another screw under here so to do that I got to set this down and I'll come back and we're back so uh, I wonder if this autofocus will work anyway uh, so now we can sort of wrangle this out gently there's some bits that we don't want to yank on too hard so now that comes out of the way you can see the screw so we'll take that puppy out uh, sorry I know these kind of videos suck but I just wanted to try to get it documented on how I did it so here we go taking this out and I'll come back okay so that screws out and then we take these four screws out and this little guy lifts up can, well, shoot, it's really kind of hard to do I'm trying to focus it and pull this up out of the out of here at the same time okay so this comes up and this can just flop out of the way the next thing is a little difficult Right here, you can see, you can you kind of push this down. There's two little clasps on either side of that LED. You need to push that down, and then the whole thing will just pop out. Okay, so now you don't want to yank on this right here because it's not a very good connection. So just push it as best you can until it's really ready to just let go. And then just pull it out of the way. And that's that okay so that's the last of the crap on the back side next we got to take out these two screws all right so now we need to lift this from this end just push it up right on the end here and it'll sort of let go and that's it it should just lift out if I can get it to come loose there we go so now it's in my hand. And all the modification that we're going to do is right here. So that'll come next. Um, this little insulating bit here just, uh, just pulls right out. Just yank it out. Because what we're going to do is remove these. You see them? Okay, well we're going to chop them off and then drill them out. That's coming next. All right, so I'm going to show about two seconds of this, and uh, <laughs> then I'm going to have to pause it. I just chop it off right there at the back. Dag nabbit. <laughs> chop it off right there at the base. I'm trying to get this thing to focus, yeah. So there. And both of these. Okay focus and then get this up here then we're gonna drill this out right through here 
and that'll pop that piece off and it'll be a nice perfectly round circle so get your drill bit so that it's not quite the full size of that little round thing the the standoff and this will just it'll just heat it up enough so that it pops it out and without damaging the rest of it okay so this is the fifth one I've done every single one of these when I start to drill on the center of that little piece pops the whole thing right out there's a little insert that goes in there it's actually sitting in there you can't really see it with your eye until you start working on it and it just pops out I thought well shoot I'm gonna have to actually drill a hole through this plate but I didn't have to um, every one of them as I'm drilling pops it right out so that's a little tip there I've seen people doing the back one here but you flip this thing over okay flip it over these are the two front ones those those spots right there uh, are the grounds that go to these two holes all right the one that's in the back here this one isn't connected to these so like if you if you use an ohm meter um, you know or a diode checker whatever um, there's nothing there so I'm not doing the back ones um, I like having uh, a decent ground there and honestly I think it's part of the AC circuit and not actually part of the DC circuit they do have this but I'm pretty sure that's just to tie into the uh, neutral on the on the power connector um, and then by virtue of the screw that fits into this it ties in the AC portion I'm pretty sure I'm right about this the series supply I built already I've got one of these already working with four of these uh, putting out 50 volts doesn't have any trouble with it um, leaving that back one in so I'm leaving it in I haven't found any reason not to yet all right so what we're what we're going for here is to stick a couple of nylon screws through here a spacer on there and then be able to reinsert the board and have it that insulate the the output the DC output of the supply from the frame and from the ground because this is supposed to be a floating power supply this particular one we need three out of four to be floaters uh, for my 50 volts supply all right so anyway uh, I'll show you this in a second all right so now the next step after we drill these holes out, I stick this plastic bit back in the insulating panel. <clears throat> then we stick uh, we stick these nylon screws through. And then we put our little spacer on here. These spacers I have are ugly. I had to cut them in half, but uh, they were too tall. I thought they were thought they looked about right, but I should have measured. So I gotta cut them. Anyway, you could use a nylon nut. Will work fine as long as it's thick enough. These are probably uh, three sixteenths of an inch. Um, now we pop this other one back through. You want to make sure your spacer's on top of this material, and then I'll come back. All right. So this next part may be a little hard for me to show maybe I don't know we'll see but uh, basically we're gonna go putting this back in so you gotta need you need to kind of wrangle it in so that this back corner here let's see if I can zoom in you see that right down at the case it's the little silver part right above my finger there in the back okay so that needs to go inside that circle See there and that's gonna sit nice and flush and then you need to drop this down on top of your uh, focuses 
horrible on this thing. It's my cell phone, sorry. Anyway, um, I'll come back after I've done this. But anyway, this is gonna this is gonna sit down on top of this, and you want that spacer, the standoff there, to be in through that hole. Okay, and it's really easy. It's not hard um, to just it just sits down on there, and then you'll see the spacers underneath here. I'm trying to show this, but they don't have to be very tall. And then you put your nylon nuts on the top of this and it refastens it down. And these can be left long like this. They're not in the way of anything. So you can either chop them off if you really want them, get shorter ones if you want. I bought longer ones knowing I could just chop them off. Um, but I haven't chopped any off. I just left them. They're not in the way. Maybe of a little bit of airflow, but not by much. So I wouldn't worry about it. So, okay. So now um, we put the the two nuts on these, tighten them down, and that screw back there in the case. Okay, so here's my spacers. They're not pretty, but they don't have to be, and they don't have to be perfect either. So don't waste your time. All right, so that's in. And now uh, <clears throat> the fan goes back in, and it's just basically reverse of what we took out. So I'm gonna go ahead and reassemble this part. Um, fan goes back in here, screws go in the fan, light goes back in the little light socket. This fits back down in there and then we're about done and I'll come back. Okay, don't forget to attach the screen wire. It's your AC ground for the chassis. You don't want to get zapped or kill yourself or do something stupid. You want that on. Make sure you reattach it. Okay. All right, so next step, next step. Actually, this should have been the first step, but um, I've done so many of these that I skipped it. You want to get something like uh, liquid solder flux. You want to put a little bit on these pins right here. And then you're going to attach this 1K ohm resistor between this and this. So. 36 is the pin and 33 33 and 36 you see this one here it says 37 and this is it's the short one right next to it so you want to jumper across that with this resistor so that's what I'm about to do but I can't do both so I gotta put this camera down all right so he's soldered on there now and now we're gonna plug him in and adjust um, this little pot right here, see if I can focus again, this little pot right here, we turn it, come on, focus, damn it, I turn them this way, so that's counterclockwise if you're looking at it in this direction, this way, so it's going to, and it goes, uh, these are all right around, uh, 12.28, 12.3 volts that I've had so far. I want mine at uh, 12.5 volts. So we're gonna, I'm gonna plug it in and adjust this. So hold on, I might be able to do some of this at the same time. Okay, as with all electronics, don't touch shit you're not supposed to touch. So be careful. All right, so I'm gonna plug this in. And the light comes on. I can't show you that because, well, maybe it's showing up. I've got my, let's see, maybe if I do this. There we go. So it's on. Fan's running, but you can't hear it. It's quiet, but I can feel it. It's, it's blowing pretty good. All right, so now we need to move this guy over. I need to get my voltmeter out. And again, turn this little pot with a tiny little screwdriver. See how little this driver is? We get in here, we get it lined up in there. In fact, I can kind of tell you it's gonna go. Let's see, I can kind of do this by hand. I mean, without the meter. Okay, so I'm turning it, turning it right about there. 
Okay. Dang. Focus already. Okay, so I've turned that. That's going to be close, but I'm going to get the meter and get it dialed right in. Okay, so the that setting I changed, what, um, put it on 12.45 volts. A little tweak to it um, put me on 12.5 volts. And in case you don't know, um, this is the negative, this is the positive 12 volt rail. Zoom, focus, okay. Negative, positive. All right. And now all this can just get buttoned back up and the case goes back on basically in reverse of how we took it off Okay, a little tip when you put this back on This thing isn't going to be in the right place. Make sure you shove it in and down so in and down and then uh, When it while you're holding that in place put the cover back on and hold this um, because otherwise there's a little slot on the back of this plastic that won't line up with this and it will be loose. So the only thing holding that in place is that that being there in the right spot. <laughs> so there's that. Okay, so the last bit to this is we want to put some lugs on here. See, uh, this is a, I'll show you. And I'll leave part numbers for this stuff, but um, you bend these together right here. You bend them together, and then you slip it on here, and you solder it. I use two of these on each one of these because I'm using. I figure I'm going to use a lot of power out of this, and I want to make sure that I'm getting most of it. And I don't know how good these are to start with. How how this how great this idea is. So I'm going to solder these on, two of them per, so positive side gets two, negative side gets two, and then I run two thick cables off of that. Um, so I'll show you how this goes when I'm done. Okay, so these supplies, as you can read here, when run off of 240, um, put out 1200 watts, which is 100 amps. 100 amps out of these little connectors probably going to be okay, but we'll just have to find out. Anyway, the one I saw, the example I saw of somebody else doing the same thing with these same exact pieces, they just used one on here, and that just doesn't seem like enough to me. If, I, if you're planning on running it at 100 amps, I mean, maybe they don't do that, but that's, that seems to be the point of, you know, even 75 amps. That's at uh, 120 volts. If you look here, uh, well, this doesn't sh does it show it? Yeah, right here. So 75 amps, 900 watts at 120 volts. But I run mine on 240, so 100 amps, bitches. Okay, I did that kind of quickly. That uh, you can see, that's soldered on there on that one side, soldered on that side. Make sure you don't jump bridge that right there. It's a real skinny. Um, ow, son of a bitch, that's hot. <laughs> okay, anyway, um, focus, damn it. Make sure you don't bridge that, it's not. And same on this side, make sure there's a gap there. And then you're done. I mean, this, is, this one's done. I mark them, um, positive, negative, and what voltage I set on it. And if it's a floater, I put on here that it's a floater. And that's it. That's one of four I have uh, to do left. So that's it. That's the end of this.